dear students we are left with only one more problem in the chapter number 1 that is problem number 20 and in this problem we are supposed to prepare trading profit and loss account and the balance sheet as on 31 12 2018 I said in other classes, we can prepare trading profit and loss account and balance sheet both in double entry system and this single entry system. That is under incomplete records also. In the preparation of final accounts under double entry system, the trial balance is readily available. and with the trial balance we can go straight away to the trading and the profit and loss account and the finally the balance sheet but this problem is coming under single entry system or incomplete records we cannot do so straight away we will have to do some other part of the problem what are they one total debt as account Two total credit as account, three statement of affairs. These are all the additional parts other than this final accounts, say trading and profit and loss account and the balance sheet. Though the question is asked to prepare final accounts or trading profit and loss account and the balance sheet. we must prepare some other accounts also to support it so in that case what are the other accounts to be prepared number 1 total debt as account why to know either the credit sales or the debt as at the end of the year that is the first part second one total credit as account this total credit as account is prepared why to know the credit purchase and the credit as available at the end of the year so these two are prepared to know the credit sales credit purchase debt as at the end of the year credit as at the end of the year see the problem now 20 see the credit purchase under the box given credit sales is given credit purchase is given and in the box sundry debt as at the end, beginning of the year and at the end of the year sundry credit as at the beginning of the year and the end of the year all are given so the purpose of preparing total debt as account total credit as account are now not necessary because the items what we will find after preparing total debt as account and the credit as account are given in the problem itself say the debt as available at the end of the year credit as available at the end of the year are given in the box and credit sales and credit purchases are given under the box so we need not prepare total debt as account and credit as account to prepare this balance sheet what all the items we will write here we will write generally the general liabilities like sundry credit as bills payable any kind of loan all these things we will write after writing it we will write one special item capital whether the capital is given in the problem once we go through the problem know where the capital is given instead the assets and liabilities in the beginning of the year is given using that we must find the capital of the business in the beginning of the year that what i am going to prepare now as such that is statement of affairs as on 1 1 2018
what all the assets available in the beginning of the year machinery 60000 cash at bank 25000 Sundry debtors seventy thousand. Sundry debtors seventy thousand. Stock forty five thousand. Stock forty five thousand. Bills receivable twenty thousand. Bills receivable twenty thousand. These are the five assets given there, and the remaining two items are liabilities one bank loan. Bank loan forty five thousand. The next item, sundry credit cards. Sundry credit cards forty five thousand. Now we can close because all the items. in the beginning of the year that is all the assets and liabilities in the beginning of the year are given so we can find the balance sheet here on the liability side before that you find the total to lakhs 20000 you write the same to lakhs 20000 here Because this is the greatest total. From two lakhs twenty thousand, you minus this is seventy thousand. You will get one lakh fifty thousand. This is capital. so we have found out the capital here which is missing in the problem which will be helpful for the preparation of balance sheet now we shall go to the trading account for the trading account what must be written first to opening stock Opening stock that is stock in the beginning of the year. Stock forty five thousand. Stock forty five thousand. Then the second one to purchases. Cash. Credit. These two items are given under the box. Cash purchases eight thousand, and credit purchase is fifty two thousand. So totally sixty thousand. The next item that will appear is the direct expense wages. to wages 6000 to wages 6000 from the debit side i hope it is over and on the credit side by sales cash credit both are given in the sum cash sales 20000 And the credit sales one lakh eighty thousand. 
one lakh eighty thousand. So total comes to two lakhs. Then the last item to be written on the credit side is by closing stock. Closing stock that is stock at the end of the year twenty-two thousand. So we can close the trading account now. This is one lakh eleven thousand. Here this is two lakhs twenty-two thousand. So put two lakhs twenty-two thousand on both the sides. And the balancing figure will be one lakh eleven thousand. One lakh eleven thousand to gross profit. To gross profit, one lakh eleven thousand. And this is by gross profit. One lakh eleven thousand. And what are the indirect expenses that will appear under profit and loss accounts? If you see the items under the table of account, the first indirect expense is advertisement to advertisement. Advertisement is seven thousand. Then the next item given under the box is salaries. Salaries twenty-three thousand five hundred. Twenty-three thousand five hundred. The next item is to interest on bank loan. Interest on bank loan four thousand five hundred. And uh, these are the items given under the box. And you should note that there is a line given at the end. What is it? Write off depreciation ten percent to depreciation to depreciation ten percent on machinery. The value of machinery at the end of the year. All these adjustments are allowed only on the assets at the end of the year. So, sixty thousand into ten five hundred, which is equal to six thousand. Then the next adjustment is given: reserve on debtors. Reserve on debtors. These two are loss. Therefore, expenses and losses must be in the debit side. Reserve on debtors. The value of debtors at the end of the year is one lakh. Into one percent, that is one by hundred. So it is thousand. Now we have attended all the items. We have attended all the items which have to be written in the profit and loss accounts. We have written, so we can close it. This is one lakh eleven thousand 
the greatest total. Here, thirty-five thousand only it is coming. So you write the greatest total, and you can write the missing figure. Nine thousand. This will be called. Here it is gross profit. You know, this is called net profit. Net profit. So we shall pass on to the next item. The balance sheet. From where this balance sheet should be prepared. The balance sheet should be prepared from the assets and the liabilities available at the end of the year. What are the assets and liabilities available at the end of the year? The first one is the machinery that is as on 31/12/2018. This is at the end of the year. Both accounts are prepared. The first item under asset sheet, machinery. Machinery. The amount of machinery is sixty thousand, and the depreciation is six thousand. So you minus it, right? Fifty-four thousand. Next item is cash and bank. Cash and bank, thirty-three thousand. Then the next item is summary data loss. Sunday data of there is an adjustment. There are two adjustments, one on machinery, other one on Sunday data of reserve thousand one percent thousand. We have calculated already. You minus six hundred ninety nine thousand. Then next one stock at the end of the year. Stock twenty two thousand. And the next item, bills receivable thirty eight thousand. Bills receivable thirty eight thousand. Thirty-eight thousand, and the remaining two items are liabilities, bank loan, forty-five thousand, forty-five thousand. The next item is sundry credit cards. Sunday credit cards twenty one thousand. These items are recorded here as assets and liabilities. 
but what is the special item we should write it here regarding the capital since the capital as i said earlier since the capital is not given straight away we have found out the capital here one lakh fifty thousand with that we should the attend the items adjusting items also capital one lakh fifty thousand what are the items to be added the items to be added to is interest on capital net profit and additional capital out of these three what are the items available in this problem what are the items available in this problem is additional capital it is given and additional capital it is given as 21000 And the net profit a net profit is we have found out sixty-nine thousand. Now you add these three. Given in this problem, only drawings given as less drawings. The drawing sum of these sixteen thousand. So this is one lakh eighty thousand. Now we have attended all the items. We shall check whether we are getting the same total on both the sides or not. Two lakh forty-six thousand. Total credit as account, we can find either 
total purchases account or the creditors at the end of the year. Both credit purchase and the creditors at the end of the year, both are given in the problem. So, no question of preparing total debtors account and the creditors account. To prepare this balance sheet, other than this assets and liabilities, we need this capital. Once we go through the problem, the capital in the beginning of the year is given? No. So, we must prepare the statement of offers by using the assets and liabilities given in the beginning of the year. So, we prepare this statement of offers using the assets and liabilities and the balancing figure here is given as 1 lakh 50,000 what we now found out just now this is the capital we can use it here so when we prepare a trading account you know this opening stock purchases and wages debit side this two on the credit side we are finding the total and finding the balancing figure this is a gross profit and the gross profit is written here and other indirect expenses the first three are given in addition to that there are two adjustments given they are also lost, therefore we are writing it on the debit side. So after doing it, we are finding the balance is figure 69,000 which is called net profit. With that, we should prepare the balance sheet. To prepare the balance sheet, we need the assets and liabilities at the end of the year. At the end of the year, these are the five assets and these are the two liabilities given. We have written it. And also, what is the specialty in the preparation of balance sheet? If there is any adjustment connected with the assets available, we should attend it. So likewise, for the machinery there is depreciation given, what we have calculated as 6,000 minus it and right. And also for the sundry debtors, there is a reserve and the reserve we should minus and we have returned. And finally we are coming to this point, for the, the capital we should add additional capital, net profit and interest on capital. Additional capital, net profit, interest on capital. Out of these three, these two items are only given. So, we have added this with this capital. And what should be minus less drawings, interest on drawings, income tax. But only drawings is given so that we can less and the right answer. So, if we find the total now, we will get the total equal on both sides.